everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome happy friday um made it to the dollar tree first time i've been out this week since we had all that snow we pretty much got everything dug out now and uh hopefully that storm they're calling for this weekend just kind of disappears because they said they don't think we're going to get any of that now and we definitely don't need any more snow we got like 27 inches of snow which is ridiculous and oh it was just so much work but anyway, I made it through the snow piles, went to the Dollar Tree and the grocery store, and I'll show you guys around. I only went to the small Dollar Tree by me. I really didn't feel like traveling too far in all this mess out there. It's just still so many piles of snow. It's hard to see getting around roads and stuff, and parking lots are a disaster. But anyway, I did get a few things. Um, they actually had my dishwashing tabs that I love. Um, you get 10 in here, and these are the Ultra Shine. Uh, dishwashing packs. I love these. These are kind of getting hard to find. I'm, I'm not finding them in very many Dollar Trees. So when I do, I try to grab a couple more packs of them. So I got two more of those because I absolutely love these dishwashing tabs. Um, I got another one of these Oasis, a Hawaiian Oasis rather, uh, renews it air fresheners for, you know, in my bathrooms and things uh, downstairs. So this is my favorite one. I love the scent of this stuff. It just smells so good. And then I got myself another bag of these, um, sand, just sandwich bags, nothing special. And this was a bonus pack. You get 52 in here. And these are pretty good. They're, you know, why is this all taped back together? I have a feeling this one must have been busted open. Uh, I didn't see that before I bought it. But whatever, hopefully it's fine. Um, yeah, you get 52 in here. So uh, usually there's 37 in here. And uh, yeah, these are just fine. They're sandwich bags. They work okay. And then I grabbed another one of my garbage bags. This is another thing that I'm, um, some Dollar Trees, they don't carry these at all. Um, so I was happy that this Dollar Tree was stocked up on these again. But I do have quite a few out there, but I figure I'll pick another one up when I see it. And of course, you know, I had to grab another jar of jalapenos for the husband because, you know, like I said, he eats these on almost everything. So I just picked up one. He has quite a few out in the cabinet right now. Now, these they don't usually have. This one I haven't seen at my Dollar Tree, and this is the cheddar broccoli, um, the noodles, the pasta. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I love making these for quick sides at night, and they're really good. And this is the Norris brand. Um, it says cooks in 10 minutes, but usually they only have, like, the rice. I got the cheddar broccoli and rice, too, which is really good. Um, and a lot of times they'll have the chicken and chicken flavor or whatever. And, uh, but, yeah, I hardly ever find the ones with the noodles in them. So I thought that was great. And then let's see. I did grab two more packs of these um, shopping mats. Um, I like these for under my painting here, and they wash off really well, even with the chalk paint, if I just soak them in the sink for a few minutes, if I get chalk paint or something on there. Um, it scrubs off pretty easily. So I grabbed two more of these because um, I haven't been able to find these in a while, but lately they seem to have these back in stock. So I got two more. So now there's two in a pack here, and they're 11 inches by 14 inches. So these are great if you want to set something on it, even outside to spray paint. I don't know if that would come off of these. But, you know, like acrylic paint, chalk paint, that kind of stuff, um, that comes off pretty easy. And I'm sure they're great for chopping fruits and vegetables, too. But I got them for here in the craft room. So I figured I'd grab two more of them. Like I said, I couldn't find those for a long time. And then I picked up two of these um, little containers here. These are just a sh like a the shoebox size container. It's just storage box, and it comes with the lid. Um, these aren't too bad either. I can't get it apart. But these are pretty good. Some of them that they used to have um, years ago used to be really, really flimsy, and they break easy. But these are kind of, you know, you can move these around. And, um, yeah, so these are great for storing little odds and ends here craft room or wherever you might need them. So those I got. And then I did find some cute new things. Not too much new. But I did pick up some of the stuff in the fairy garden section. They had a lot of these things out. I never... What did I just knock? Oh, I just knocked those boxes over. Good job. Um, I never got the ones with the, with the pretty colors. And I thought these were great. And I even thought this would be even great for Christmas. You just have to like repaint that little bow or something. And you got your little candy canes. And you could even decorate all of these up for, like, Christmas, which is my favorite time of year to do crafts. So um, I may just put these away and use these for Christmas time. 
And then I thought these would be great, even if you don't do this kind of a fairy garden, that these little cupcakes, you could use these for all kinds of like, you know, birthday gifts or whatever, decorations of, or whatever. I don't know why I just got one. They probably only had one, because that's usually my luck. And then they had this one here with little hearts and flowers. And you get three of those in there. I thought those were pretty. And let's see. Oh, these guys, of course, I had to get because it has a bird in it and it has a frog in it. And I love my goofy frogs. And that has this cute little turtle in there, too. So I thought those were really nice. So I'm going to have to do a bright, cheery little fairy garden this year. And then I found these little figures. I thought they were just adorable. And let's see, what else did I get? I found these little figures, too. <coughs> Excuse me, of these little uh, fairy garden little gnomes. I thought they were adorable. All right, I have got to go find out what's going on out here because my dog's barking like a maniac. Okay, I guess it was just the mailman. I don't know what they were barking at. There was absolutely nothing outside. Anyway, I don't know where I left off here. But anyway, I think I showed you guys these. There's three of these in here. And then I like these. Look at these with little ice creams and like sundaes and things. And that one has a candy cane in it too that could be done up for Christmas. So I love these little things. They're really cute. And what else did I get good? Oh, I did find one more pack of these with this, um, the words spring and welcome in them. I like those because you can use them for all kinds of things, not just for Easter. Um, but for, I think everybody else has the same idea, too, because I have a hard time finding just this pack. They have the other ones, too, that say Easter and something else. I don't remember what the other pack was. But I really like these um, metal signs. And then I got a couple of these in the Crafter's Square section. They didn't have much. Um, I don't know. Maybe their truck probably didn't even get in this week. I don't know. But I picked up some of these gold stickers here that say happy birthday to you. And I thought those would be fun to do on some cards and things. So I grabbed two packs of those. I don't remember if I, I think I bought something like this, but I don't know if they're the same. But anyway, I got those and I got these pretty butterflies. I thought those were adorable. And they're kind of like a, they're a pop-up sticker and you get 12 in here. And they have the little thing you just peel off there and stick them on. So I thought those were nice. Very nice. Oh, and I did get these too. I'm all over the place today. I just kind of threw everything over here in my little bin. Um, I picked up two more of the sink mats. I like these. Um, they stain pretty easy though, so you got to be careful with like spaghetti sauce and stuff. And But you know what? For a dollar, it's not bad. I mean, these things are expensive. The last ones I bought, I think, at, a while ago at um, Bed Bath & Beyond, I think I paid like five dollars a piece for them, which was crazy, and I will never buy them again, I don't think, because you know, they get just as dirty as these dollar ones do, and you got to get rid of them. But anyway, I like those, so. If you don't get them in the right spot, though, they do tend to squirt water back up at you. And I picked up a pack, couple packs of these um, bags. I thought these were cute. Even maybe even just do some DIYs with these. I thought those were adorable. And then it comes with this one. With like the chevron pattern here in all different colors. And then I got one here with the Easter eggs. And that one comes with kind of like a wavy pattern. And they're nice little gift bags. It's a nice size. Alright, so let's see. What else did I pick up? Oh, I got two more of these jars because I want to decorate some of these jars. And I love these because they have a pretty pink lid on them. They're really nice. And I want to do some of these for Easter. So I think I have four of these now. And um, these are what? They're 4.1 inches. I don't know how much this holds in here. Um, <laughs> I like that they have to put on here that accessories are not included. <laughs> That's funny. But they're cute. I like those. And then I went down in the hardware aisle. I don't know if I showed these last week. I don't know if these got stuck in here. I don't remember. But I did find these in the, um, next to like where they have all the, uh, what am I trying to say here? Not across from where they have the paintbrushes and things, more towards like the automotive stuff. Um, that's where I always find this glue, and this is super glue, wood glue, and this stuff works great. I absolutely love it. Um, it dries good enough, like in an hour, you know, that you can, you know, still work on whatever you're doing. And then it, you know, I usually let them set overnight, and this stuff holds like crazy. I really like that glue a lot. 
So I grabbed two more of those because um, I've only seen these in like one of my Dollar Trees. So, and then I did get another little bottle of the Goo Gone. Um, you know, because I like to do decoupage and stuff on a lot of like, you know, I save like gravy jars and, and spaghetti sauce jars and stuff and, you know, make them into pretty little vases and things. And sometimes you can't get that last little bit of adhesive off those things, no matter how long you soak them. And this stuff takes it right off. So this stuff is a lifesaver. And it goes a long way, too. You don't use, need to use very much of it. I think the last thing I got this week was some more of these flowers. I picked up some of these last year that I had outside, but they kind of got all bent up and yucky looking from being out there all winter. But I picked up these flowers. These are really pretty, and I may actually try to get these apart and make something else out of them this year. So I got two of the pink ones, and these are nice. They come on a nice long, you know, stake that you can stick in the ground. And then I got two of the yellow ones, and they're really nice. And then I also got two of the orange ones. And I like the way they're painted up. They're painted very nicely. So, have those. And I'm ready for spring. I'm ready to start decorating for spring already if I could. But it's a little early for that. But anyway, that is it. That is all I got at my Dollar Tree. Like I said, I only made it over here to my small Dollar Tree. Hopefully, maybe next week I can get back over to the larger one that I absolutely love. But, of course, that one's like 30 minutes away. And I did not feel like going out in this weather all that way today. So, anyway... Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this little haul, and I will see you guys all next time. Have a great day, everyone.